Hi there, it's Mrs. Stainbrook, and I want to talk with you a little bit about odd and even numbers. So the way that you determine if a number is even or odd is by taking a look at a set of objects. So let's talk, for example, about the number 6. I'm looking at the number 6, but I'm not really sure if it's even or odd. So next to the 6, I have 6 stars. So I have a set of objects to represent that number. Here's how I know if a number is even or odd. If each one of these objects can be paired up or partnered up with another object, then that set of objects is an even number. That means the number is even. So in this set of six objects, six stars I have, each one of the stars can be partnered up with another star. That makes it an even set. Therefore, that makes six an even number. Here, I have a different example. This time, I have seven blocks. Not sure about the number seven, whether it's even or odd, so looking at those seven blocks will help me figure it out. If I can pair them up, then it's an even number. But if I can't pair all of them up, it must be odd. So let's try this one. Those two can be paired up or partnered up. Those two can be paired up or partnered up. Those two can be paired up or partnered up. But ah, uh, look, now I've got one guy left who has nobody to partner up with. That makes this set of blocks an odd numbered set. So that means the number seven is an odd number. Do you ever play a game and you're trying to partner up at school or somewhere else and there's one kid left over? Yep, sometimes we call that the odd man out. Well, that's just kind of a reminder of that means that the set of numbers is an odd number. Now this holds true with larger numbers also. Here I have 22 pink dots, so that's the number 22. So let's see if it's even or odd. Can I partner them up? Those two make partners, those two, those two. Now I'm being careful just to make sure that each dot only gets one partner. Oh, everybody's got a partner. What does that mean? That means that 22 is an even number. If every object is matched up evenly, it is an even number. Here we have 13 stars. What do you think? Even or odd? Well, let's see if we can figure it out. These guys are all partnered up. These guys are partnered up. Ah, but we have one star left over. One odd man out. So what does that mean about the number 13? 13 is an odd number. So here's what you want to remember when you're trying to decide if a number is even or odd. All you really need to do is look at the ones place. The digits 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 show even numbers. And when I say look at the ones place, what I mean by that is, let's say you have a number like 8. 8 is a number that only has a ones place. So if 8 is an even number, or if it's on the even poster here, 8 is an even number.
But what about larger numbers? What if you have a number like 37? Remember, look in the ones place. This is the only digit we have to look at. We can forget about that 3. Just look at the 7. Where do you see the 7? On the even poster or on the odd poster? 7 is an odd number. So that means the whole number 37 is an odd number also. That ones place digit gives us the answer. It's true for really large numbers. 256. The only thing you need to look at is that ones place digit, the very last digit on the end of the number. If this digit is an even digit, then the whole number is even. If this digit is an odd digit, the whole thing is odd. Where do you see a 6? Is it on the evens or the odds poster? Yep, 6 is an even digit, so that means this whole number, 256, is an even number. Just remember, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, those are the even ones. Those are easy to remember. Anything else, ending with a 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9, would be an odd number. I hope this helped.